Another person running for Republican presidential nomination. Florida voters want to know where their governor is. Can Governor Ron DeSantis continue to run the state of Florida effectively while campaigning for president? It's a question we're hearing from News for Jack's viewers who wonder how much money DeSantis' presidential campaign is costing taxpayers. News for Jack's anchor Tarek Miners here. Tarek, you spoke with voters who are on both sides of this fence. I, I did. Several voters I talked to today want to know where the governor is and when he'll be back, more importantly, to focus on the local issues in Florida. Others say they, they are pleased with the job he's doing here at home and on the campaign trail. Governor Ron DeSantis' last news conference in Florida was two weeks ago on August 9th, where he announced he was suspending Orlando State Attorney Monique Worrell before heading back to the campaign trail. From Utah to New Hampshire to Pennsylvania, Iowa, and Wisconsin for the debate last night, voters have mixed feelings on DeSantis' performance at home. He needs to come home and check on things also. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah his first priority should be the state of Florida. Yeah. Right now. I've only been here for two years and I moved here because of Ron DeSantis. Um, I think he'd make a great president. He seems like a good governor. Maybe president is a little bit too much to handle because right now is a lot dealing with just Florida. So why would we add 49 other states? Voters we spoke with say they'd like to see the governor focus more on housing affordability, property insurance and crime. In the meantime, millions of dollars of taxpayer money is funding DeSantis' campaign related travel and security. According to state records, Florida taxpayers have spent more than $14 million on travel and protective security over the past two years as DeSantis has prepared for a campaign run. In 2021 and 22, travel and security for DeSantis' wife and three children totaled $5.5 million. In 2022-23, those expenses skyrocketed to roughly $8.8 million. Regarding the price of travel, the governor's press secretary writes the following. By law, FDLE must provide protective services to the governor and for his family. His record as the most effective conservative governor in American history has also earned him an elevated threat profile, and FDLE has increased the number of protective agents to ensure the governor and his family remain safe. After leaving the debate in Wisconsin last night, Governor DeSantis is returning to Iowa to kick off a bus tour. It's unclear when he'll return to Florida and for how long, with activity on the campaign trail heating up. If he's not running the government of Florida, then he's, his, his eyes are on a different prize. Over four years in office, the total cost of travel and security detail for the governor totaled four years now, more than $22 million. Recent legislation signed into law by the governor does limit the amount of information you and I and the public knows about his travel, providing the governor's office with a public records exemption. Tom?